Jimmy Myers, born and bred in New York, but now in Arkansas. This man is full of heart, talent, former Division I soccer player. He's a physical therapy specialist, healing the masses. So grateful for his newlywed wife. Welcome, Jimmy Myers, to The Real Raw. And what is your fun fact? That I'm undefeated in eating competitions, so I'm 1-0. Oh. I did a wing competition, and I won. So I've settled at one for right now, but right. I'm undefeated. Marsha Poindexter, Sean from Missouri. She's an insurance agency owner who's like, who's juggling all the balls in her office while her assistant is sick or her partner is sick. She has two adult children and loves her Harleys and gardening. Can't keep anything green, Aunt Marcia. <laughs> so um, I'm glad you can. Welcome to The Real Raw. And what's your fun fact? You know, just daily is a fun, uh, anything that is, I get invited to something and I'm not sure, and I'm like, just go all for it. Just get in it and go. So that's my fun factor, never saying no. How was your time with us today on The Real Raw? I think that this fun was a, able to go in and, and learn something that I was given somebody else the opportunity, but I jumped in her seat today. Thank you very much. It was kind of fun. And if you would have called me directly, I would have probably not done this uh, an hour out of my time, busy schedule. So I'm glad that Tina took the opportunity and she passed the torch. So thank you very much. Roswald Hawkins coming from Houston. Sean, this man has a passion to inspire others. He's a second generation insurance entrepreneur, just 36 years young, childhood dream to be a motivational speaker and a serial entrepreneur, just an extraordinary gentleman. He's grateful for every day. Welcome to The Real Raw, Roswald. So Roswald, what's your fun fact? This would be that I play four instruments. Whoa. And I can read and write music. Wow, which four instruments? Guitar, piano, bass, and saxophone. How was your time with us? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as well. It showed me something I hadn't seen before, another angle. This German-born, Arizona-living, litigator extraordinaire, criminal defense, Summa cum laude graduate, first in his class, Sean, Mr. Michael Kielski. He was the chairman of the Arizona Libertarian Party. Like, extraordinary. Ooh. Welcome. I know, like, I can't even think about being a politician and he's been a candidate for office. Yes. Uh, welcome, Michael, to The Real Rock. And what is your fun fact? Uh, I am honored from time to time that I get to play a, a substitute judge in our uh, local court system. I, I get to be a judge pro tem from time to time uh, when uh, judges need somebody to cover for them when they're out sick or on vacation. Michael, thank you again for being here today. Uh, how was your time with us on The Real Raw? It was very interesting, absolutely fascinating. I always I always love meeting new and interesting people and fully learning from them, so thank you. This incredible woman, energy, heart, born in Cleveland, raised in Pittsburgh, now lives in Exton, PA. Marcia Phillips is here with us. She's a partner at Upright Law, an attorney at 34 years, trial advocacy. She's an incredible woman. Welcome, Marcia, to The Real Raw. Amazing. So, Marcia, please, what is your fun fact? I am the proud granddaughter of a famous editorial cartoonist for the Pittsburgh Courier. I love art, and he did uh, political cartoons, and there's actually a, an award after his namesake that was uh, established a while back. Marcia. Thank you for being here, um, your contributions, your feedback. How was today for you on The Real Raw? It was awesome, absolutely awesome. Just the energy and the structure, very good. Chief Investment Officer at Max Out Savings. He saves his clients from too much too much risk, rising their investments to the max. And uh, he's also a radio show host with Max Out Savings, Sean, like incredible. Welcome, Ted, to The Real Raw. Uh, and how about your fun facts? Uh, you know, uh, I work, uh, we bought, bought a, a pecan ranch and we've been re rehabbing that. And so we've been working on pecans for the last about five years, uh, fixing the place up. And now we produce quite a bit of pecans. How was your time with us today on The Real Raw? I, I think it was well spent. You guys did a great job. And I learned a lot uh, from everybody, actually. I think we might, you know, maybe have some more fun today. What do you think? I now? definitely, this, they're definitely going to look like I'm ready for more fun. All right. I think someone here should get to put you on the hot seat. Yeah, for charity, of course. For charity, of course, okay. yes. So does somebody want to put me on the hot seat? Does anybody even mark it? Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marsha, come on now. So, um, and yeah, so it, it's about me going from hello to yes on anything you want, it, but it's got to be integrous. So Marsha, um, 
thank you for your desire to put me on the owl hot seat. Um, but who would you like me to be and what's the yes I'm seeking? I would like for you to be a homeless person and overcome the ability to not be a homeless person anymore and okay. be successful. What yes you're seeking is you want to find yourself and learn about you through somebody that they're going to mentor you to be a better person and get out of your situation. So who who would you like to select in this group that I would request to mentor me? Michael. Michael, would you accept this opportunity? Yes, but I'm going to be a really tough sell, so good luck. Yeah, absolutely. So Michael, I understand that you are a leader in the Libertarian Party, and I am shocked that I had the privilege and opportunity to be communicating with you. So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And I know we only have three minutes and all I'm going to request is if anything makes a little bit of sense and resonates with you in any way, I'd love to have a longer conversation. That's my only request. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. So Michael, can I ask what, you know, I, I have, uh, I'll share my background in a minute, uh, but I do have some level education. Um, I am actually a little bit well read Um, but I've had some real challenges, which I'll share, but can I ask you what, as you would define it, is the Libertarian Party? What's it stand for? What is it? It stands for the idea that the individual is the smallest minority and that, uh, in order to protect, uh, individual rights, we need to protect the uh, autonomy and agency of each individual to do as they, as they wish to do, uh, as long as they don't hurt anyone else. Okay. So thank you for that. I understand that addiction is rampant. Um, but I would love to explore that opportunity. And if nothing more happens than you and your beliefs in personal responsibility, accountability, self-reliance, the coming together of people in the private sector to do good. Um, if nothing more comes of it, then I would be an example of that. I think that would be a very positive and powerful thing for you, your mission, your work, and the Libertarian Party here in the state of Arizona. So all I'm requesting now, if anything at all resonates about me, about this concept, I just request a longer meeting, have a conversation. And during that conversation, I'm submitting to you, Michael, I will not ask you for money, but I will ask you for time and energy. And I will put, I will, as I'm sure you would, I'm already stepping into the space of very strong boundaries around any agreements we have for your help, your time, your energy. But does anything like here resonate for you to have a longer conversation? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, I appreciate that. Um, and if I could ask, like, what resonates for you? Um, what resonates for me is is uh, the core, the, the concept that you're willing to look at your choices and take responsibility for those those choices that are yours uh, despite the fact that uh, you have been hurt and you have been let down by so many um the re- the realization or at least the, the the dawning realization that um despite that you you control your own destiny you have uh, you ha- you have the responsibility for um, going beyond uh, uh, the hurt that other people have left. No. Well, thank you, Michael. So um, we'll be in touch. Out of roll. Okay. Michael, uh, how did I do in, in that dynamic? I mean, yeah, you, you I mean, uh, absolutely amazing because you, you really, um, you really focused on, on the things that would resonate with somebody like me. And Marsha, how did you feel about how we did in that dynamic? I think you guys both did fantastic making a bargaining power with somebody that has so much power and is so educated. You you got what you needed from him. You got him to mentor you and give you more time. Nothing happens in the world without the yes. Homeless people aren't saved. Businesses don't grow. Differences aren't made without the yes. And here at Unblinded, it's all about being able to go from hello to yes. And so the uh, team put a, a gift from Sean um, in the chat for you, speak to one of our strategists so you can unpack, you know, what that means for you and your business and, uh, just looking forward to seeing you all again soon.